Hey folks, welcome back to Bro Do It Yourself. It's uh, April 16th, 3.30 in the afternoon. Look how green it's getting out here. Within the last week, we've gone from branches to greening. And uh, I've been waiting for that. It's actually very nice today. It was supposed to rain. I'm glad it didn't. Uh, today's video is going to be on uh, the fact that they've got a, another black sale. I went and got some more of these. Um, a case and everything it was 50% off at a uh, Northern Tool and I grabbed some more of this stuff. So I'm finding out what I really need to uh, concentrate on. It's probably another little box of uh, titanium drills, hex uh, bit drills. You know, I had a little container of them and I have mislaid those things. I mean, it must be going nuts because I have no idea. I just got done doing a job for my neighbor and uh, I don't know what I do. I was just smoking with them the other day to set up uh, this box. I got an idea off of uh, YouTube to uh, set up a little box that you can throw in because I don't use DeWalt, but I like their boxes. But anyway, so let's get back to this unboxing on the uh, two-stage um, screwdriver. I've seen about every other station or every other channel having a box opening on the uh, M12 to, to uh, speed. So I got one. And the reason was is because um, on my other two M12s here, my that's my Surge and this is my Impact. Um, you can't ratchet with them. You know, they're Anyway, we'll get into all that. So, the other guy just dropped this off. And like I say, this is the uh, M12 fuel um, quarter hex two speed screwdriver. And I want to tell you what, I was real like when I first started, when I was getting all cranked up about uh, Milwaukee. I thought, shoot, I'm not going to need. Look, I mean, look at all this stuff. You know, and that, that's only half of them. All the M18s, I've got two M18s. got the M18 Surge and the M18 uh, uh, Drill here. But I've got another couple N12s down the basement. and I got. But this thing here, I kind of talked myself into it in a way. And I got to thinking, after all the screws that I messed with in here, putting these lights up, um... I uh, should have been using this thing the whole time because as it, those, uh, even though you got them on low settings, you're monkeying around and you end up running them through. Or, you know, I mean, you just can't really control the screw. But, and I'm going to be installing a thousand, probably two thousand screws in my deck. And this is what this is made for. And the thing that amazed me after seeing all the videos and doing the research and everything was the torque with this new with these new uh, fuel um, outfits it's just unbelievable this has got the torque uh, unbelievable torque um, out of a 12 volt it's just I use 12 volts I've been using 12 volts um, through Bosch at work and i um, been well pleased but these things here are just got adjustable you got your screw um, choice or you can put in a drill I mean you can control it but I could use this as a drill I mean how many times do you drill and sink a screw it's like it just about every time I pre-drill all the time so this is the first speed that's the second speed. If you want to see the functionality of people driving screws and all that stuff like the torque test channel and all that, you're welcome to go. It's not going to happen here because there's about a hundred uh, videos about this little thing. But I am glad to have this. you got your battery reading. You only have opposed to the other. Um, I think these have got... It's the M18s. Oh, I've got the battery out. The M18s have got the three lights, right? 
the M12. Yeah, no, the this M12 has got three lights. This M12 uh, screwdriver's only got the one light. And you know what? I mean, I like the fact that they got the three lights. That's amazing on these. It's, I mean, you can see the uh, the luminosity difference. This is in the blue range. This is in the yellow range. So. Um, when you work in the, this has got the yellow range down there, so it's your M18. This M18, is this a surge? I think it is, yeah. It's got the three lights. I don't think these have got lights. Yeah, they do. Got the one light. And what about this? Um, there is one light. Two, one. So there is a light here, but I don't have a battery. So anyway, the thing about it is this is a single light. It's in the uh, blue range. I don't care about any of that. I just care about having a, a screwdriver that has this amount of torque to choose choices. It's supposed to be some kind of incredible, like 200 foot pounds or I don't know, something like that. But it's amazing. I mean, the technology with this red link and uh, it doesn't uh, mean much to anybody else until you're out there working and you don't have to go get, uh, uh, you don't have to fool around with uh, with your, once you get the thing set, you can just work with it um, continuously. You don't have to worry about the thing crapping out on you with a little battery or, or uh, crapping out on you because you got the wrong choice of torque or not doing the job. I saw the Ryobis. We're outperforming ridges, and it's just, you know, I guess just depends. But these are things have always come out on top. They uh, are light and ergonomic, and I don't have anything against DeWalt. I just, you know, I've got a battery uh, set up now with Milwaukee, and I like Milwaukee better now. It was all yellow before, and now I'm bleeding red. So um, I guess that's about it. So welcome to the family. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you something else it doesn't have either. It's the little, I went and got a couple of these uh, little bit holders you attach to. So you can't, I guess because you're not going to be using several bits, you're going to have like one bit and to go into screws, but you could do anything with these. So I like these little outfits. The thing that's weird about this, not to break away too much, but on the surge, it takes a, a Gen 2 <laughs> bed holder, and on the uh, impact, it takes a Gen 3, and these are all fuels, so I don't know what that's about. I saw a, a video on Gen 4, and it was like the M18, you know, it was like, it really wasn't, it, matter of fact, it, on the torque test channel, it kind of, I don't know if it was just the one. I think it crapped out and ended up breaking or something. I don't know. But anyway, so I think Gen 3 is going to be around for quite a while. Um, the whole idea of me starting videos was to get over the chaos that's out here. I've not done that. But I've got light and I've got tools now. And I've got a lot of jobs to, uh, to do. So thanks for joining me. This uh, is catalog number 2402-20. It means I got no battery with it. Two, two speed driver. And uh, I'm looking forward to using this thing. This will be my reach for for drilling. And, uh, not that I don't need it. But uh, shoot, I've seen guys using these in uh, uh, automotive, carpentry, um, just about anything you want to have. So I'll just leave it out here and and have my, uh, my go-to bag ready to get going and... Uh, I think the only thing I'll probably have to carry around, I'm trying to get on top of that now. I just bought this deal here. I'll put some inserts on that and, and away we go. You know? The idea is not to have to run out to, uh, once you're on a job, to run away from the job every 10 minutes to get a tool. So anyway, with that said, I'd like to thank my wife for helping me out today. This has been a box opening to the two-speed quarter inch hex screwdriver from Milwaukee the 2402-20 and uh, that's as good as it gets
got a little bit of everything, got all the bases covered, and now I guess I've got to run out of excuses. Got to get to work. So, thanks for coming back. I'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye bye.